Got an Audi A1 with a CAX A engine. CAX, there we go. Uh, 1.4 TSI and it's got a coolant leak and we've confirmed it's coming from the water pump, which we can just see down here. So we'll remove the belt and we'll show how to replace it. These are relatively quite simple water pumps to replace. Um, very little disassembly. So um, yeah, we'll get the belt off and make a start on it. So you can see my spanner is on the tensioner and I've actually detensioned the belt and removed the belt from the uh, all the pulleys uh, that we're going to replace the, put the belt as well because it has been contaminated with coolant. What I would recommend before you take the belt off though is undo these three uh, bolts on the pulley. I'm going to now undo them with the uh, belt off but it will make your life so much easier with the tightness of the belt holding the the pulley will just make it easier to crack those loose but so that's going to be the next thing is undo those three and pull this pulley off we can actually see look at that look how much play there is in that water pump so the bearing has actually failed and that's why we've got the leak it's deflecting and the shaft seal is what's leaking let's do that again just for see if we can get a better look how much that is moving so we've got that pulley out of the way, so now we can undo the Torx 30 bolts. There's one here, I believe there's one just around the corner here. Let's see if we can get in there a bit better to see them. So that's our top ones, and then I believe there's one or two underneath also. There's one down there, probably one over to the right hand side. You can see how much play you can actually get just on that. So there is only the three bolts to hold the water pump on, so we are actually now at the point where we can give this a whack and hopefully it will come off. There we go. There is, as you can see, one of the more easier bolt tracking out your water pumps in that we can remove and replace it with zero disassembly of the rest of the car just the drive belt off that pulley and our water pump is off and we can see current standing inside of there leaking out from the shaft and all that play that we could see So yeah, this thing's stuffed. Not leaking externally out of the actual housing seal, but leaking through the shaft seal. So before we can fit our new water pump, we're gonna have to clean off the ceiling surface of the block, which is probably gonna be the most tedious and longest part of the job itself. Uh, so we'll get that cleaned off and then we can get the new pump installed. We're using an SKF pump on the blue impeller there on the right. So there's the comparison. SKF is a German brand and it's normally quite an, normally an OE manufacturer. So um, yeah, we're not worried about quality or anything like that with regards to using this because it is an OE water pump. So we've got the surface all cleaned up and the water pump back on and the pulley bolted on. And as we can just see when we grab hold of the pulley now, there is zero play in that water pump itself, so. So we'll get the belt on and then that'll be it. So now I've got the belt back on, we can tighten those bolts up. So there we go, all the triple square bolts holding that pulley on are all tightened up. And this is what I used is a gear inch bit and a 10 mil spanner. So actually it's a 12 mil spanner, I should say. And then I can simply get in there and the technique I was using was to reach underneath the engine mount and squeeze the belt together with my hand while, so I could count and hold the pulley so it wouldn't spin and then tighten the bolts with the spanner so that's all done now we can fill the cooling system with coolant and then we can uh, pressure test and make sure we've not missed anything but I think we're going to be happy with the amount of play that was in that pulley.